TX. It is January 20th, 2019, 4 o'clock Central Standard Time, blasting out across the AM and FM dial television, of course, at Infowars.com and Newswars.com. There's always themes that come up without even trying to make it the theme. Corporate media puts out their themes, puts out their talking points that they want us to follow, but we tend to go with the themes that just organically show themselves. And the two big themes are today, America, the new socialist frontier, the new place the disease is spreading. Once you experience it, you want to get away from it, but you have to experience it first. And hoaxes, corporate mainstream media hoaxes. We had, uh, what, three reporters at the Women's March in D.C. Uh, yesterday, and I've just been enthralled by their live footage and by other people's footage. It was like crazed demonic piranhas attacking men, women sexually assaulting men, just flipping out, screaming, yelling. Uh, this is this is divide-and-conquer tactics. And we're going to have Owen Schroyer, who just got back today, in studio to go over all of that. But then you've got the older, quote, Native American man with a whole group of people saying, let's go get him. And then a whole group of Women's March leftist men march over to a group of Catholic school high schoolers wearing Make America Great Again hats get in their face while they taunt and scream at them. And then national news puts it out that a bunch of white racist Catholics got in the way of precious Native Americans just trying to go up the steps. And just like blacks in the 50s being denied access to lunch kitchens and to bathrooms, there were the modern white supremacists. I mean, I've got CBS, all of them. CNN. Only ABC ran a fake headline, but then later admitted, well, actually, uh, you've got the group of Democrats coming across with a couple guys with drums, and at first the students are jumping up and down with it, like it's a football game, having fun. Then they push their way in, get in their face, and the news goes, look at the smiling face of the white man taunting him, blocking the Native Americans' access up the steps. The true sign of white supremacism. And then Twitter and all these other leftist groups came out, Kathy Griffin, and said, I want those kids doxxed. I want where they live. I want their heads. Total, complete harassment. And it turns out they're all, oh, hi, how, how are you? Totally loving like Trump supporters. And here are the leftists going over. The raw footage is on Infowars.com. It's on Newswars.com. We're going to play some of it, but it would take hours to play all of it. But we've got where they say, let's get them. All right. Ooh, they're in trouble now. Boom, boom, boom. You march over. There are the steps. Nobody's blocking the steps. You've got students there taking a student photo. You crash into them. And then don't worry, the corporate media is there, every channel. Did you see that dirty white kid smiling while he was, oh, by the way, they never play audio. While he's being called names and being spit at and everything else, he just sits there and takes it and smiles, and he's the bad man. If you are standing on a street corner and you're white, and you're wearing a red hat, and then here come people over to get in your face, there, don't worry, the media is going to edit that to say that you did something bad. This is like saying that uh, England attacked Germany to start World War II. I also host The War Room, 3 to 6 p.m. Central. Okay. Obviously, there's the big news that Trump has angered his base. Trump has absolutely enraged the Tea Party, enraged nationalists. He said, I'll give you DACA. I'll legalize all these other groups. I'll give pathway to citizenship. People just can't come in, smuggled in with little kids and drugs and weapons. Uh, you've got to passport. And the Democrats said, not just no, they said, hell no, no borders, no walls, no USA at all. That was, by the way, that was the main chant at the Soros-funded uh, Islamic-run uh, Women's March uh, in D.C. We've got all that footage, a lot of exclusive footage. It took uh, hours and hours to bleep all the cussing from the piranha-like uh, people that had been whipped into a uh, frenzy by the establishment. But Trump did this before. We have a system that is absolutely hell-bent on total and complete divide and conquer. 
and this is all they ever do. Trump has always, even during the campaign, said, all I want is for people to be vetted and to not have a criminal record. And sure, if you've been there since you're a kid, your parents brought you illegally, we'll legalize you. But we're not going to then let you say you just got here last month and you've been deported five times and you're 30 years old, you've got a criminal record, and now you bring your whole family here with chain migration. We're not doing that. It's not reasonable. The media always misrepresents what Trump is saying and doing. So when he tries something like a partial DACA, the right wing gets mad and says he sold out on, on what he said he would do when he never said that. And the left wing says, no, we want no borders, no walls, no USA at all. Trump did this a year and a half ago, remember? He said, okay, I'll give you everything you want on DACA. And they said, no, that's not enough. Now we want completely, totally open borders, period. Just like he did a year ago, almost a year ago, back in February, when they were hyping up the tragic events of Parkland in Florida, where the police stood down, that's now been confirmed. And Trump said, okay, told Pelosi and Schumer in a meeting, what do you want? We'll look at anything you want. He said, we may not do it, but we'll, we'll look at it. The media spun that Trump collapses, Trump gives in, and the Democrats came back and said, we want all guns confiscated. We want an abolition of the Second Amendment. The New York Times ran the headline, time to repeal. So Trump says, okay, I'll compromise with you. What do you want? And they say, sky's the limit. In fact, he could say, okay, no borders, no wall, no USA at all. And they say, no, we're not turning the government back on until you resign. Because they're not there to make deals. They're there to get what they want. And no one's ever stood up to them. So I'm not even defending Trump on all this, but he's given a very liberal package um, to just say, can we have a basic border so the smuggling stops and the kidnap kid stops? And the Democrats have said no, despite the fact the plan he's put forward is a Democratic plan from 10 years ago. And more liberal than what George W. Bush wanted and even what Democrats wanted a few years ago. But they cannot make Trump look reasonable, so they're going to keep pressing this, period. So we've got that report. But then let's move on to the fake news that I'll be detailing in great detail coming up at the bottom of the hour. Owen Schroyer, Greg Reese, and other members of the crew went up for the Women's March this weekend. And we have the live video footage, all of it coming to you, where a woman sexually assaults Owen Schroyer. This is the bottom of the hour. The video is about to go live on Infowars.com. She literally just walks up and grabs him by the genitals and then says, yes, I just sexually assaulted you. What are you going to do about it? He could have called the cops over. She would have been arrested. It's a felony. Owen is chivalrous, so he didn't do it. But I talked to him on the phone. She grabbed him hard. It hurt. Because, oh, Trump grabs women. Trump's a rapist, according to them, so she can do it to you because you're wearing a red hat. Trump was talking about, like, the Beatles, women throwing themselves, or Elvis. We have that footage coming up where women are taking their bras off, taking their panties off, rushing up, jumping on you. Trump's saying, man, these women, they throw themselves on you. They climb on top of you. You can do whatever you want. He's saying that. Clearly. And Bill Clinton's the one that's signed off on all these rape cases and, and, and made payoffs. So the left does this and says, because you're wearing a red hat, I'm going to grab you by the genitals, and this woman is so whacked out and so crazy that she says, go tell the cops that no one doesn't do it. Actually, you do that to me, lady, I'm going to get your ass arrested because you're a crazy person. I don't want my son or my daughters treated like that. That's assault. And she grabs him hard by the genitals, and she's so entitled that she thinks it's okay. This, this is the crazed nature we also caught all this footage of women running over to men and saying, get the hell out of here. This is only for women. Another women's march last week got canceled because they looked at the list and it was too white. So this is classic divide and conquer. And, and this is in the WikiLeaks where Hillary's talking to top professors and she says, we're losing control. What do we do? And they said, you create racial and cultural division. You divide everyone. And then you act like you're trying to stop the division. It's how the British controlled India. It's called the Great Game. It's absolutely disgusting and sad. Now, let's talk about another hoax before we get into that in more detail, because it's so illustrative. You have the Native American coming over with a group marching over, saying, let's get them. They march over to a group of high school kids and run in their group and start getting in their face. 
And then the national news says, oh, these mean kids came and got in the poor Native Americans' face when we have all the raw footage on InfoWars.com. Only ABC News admitted, actually, they marched over and got in their face. But that was buried in the report. ABC News' headline said that, well, I've got it right here. ABC News said that they basically assaulted them. But here's what's bigger. Kathy Griffin of Severed Head fame she, we have her tweets, said, go and dox these young people. I want them. I can't even show this because of TV viewers. We have FCC rules. I can't show you her tweet, okay, because there's so much cussing, so much threatening. And she says, go to their houses, get them. She says, the reply from the school was pathetic and impotent. Name these kids. I want names. Shame them. If you think these effers wouldn't dox you in a heartbeat, think again. Then she goes on and says more. So she wants school children doxed. Because a bunch of people, mar a bunch of grown men march over with drums, run into their group, or bucking up and calling them names. We have to bleep all the cussing. The young people just smile at them and they go, look at the arrogant face of the white privileged piece of filth. And then they frame them and say that they're bad. And it's such powerful footage because some of these kids are like 10 years old. And here come these 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 the, you know, folks beating these drums, and at first they're jumping up and down with them. They think it's fun until they start insulting them, and that's just arrogant, entitled, you know, leftist, welfare head, anti-white, brainwashed, brown KKK, coming over and getting somebody's face. But then let's shift gears. BuzzFeed comes out. They're the ones that said there's video of Trump being pee-peed on and, fa and fake dossiers. The, the, the BuzzFeed is fake news. That's why they don't want us on air to counter their fake news. Snopes is fake news. Southern Poverty Law Center is fake news. They're famous for it. They said, oh, my gosh, Michael Cohen says in testimony, he's a stool pigeon, so what he says, that Trump told him to go lie. Well, even if he said that, so what? He's a guy that got caught not paying his taxes, so he doesn't want to go to prison, so he'll say anything. He is admittedly a liar, but it's bigger than that. Mueller comes out and says it's not true. He didn't even say that. So BuzzFeed's Trump story, latest in long list of Russia bombshells that weren't. But that's not what's important. We have it on good authority. This is totally staged ahead of his report coming out. So it makes him look like he's credible that he says this is fake. And they put it out on purpose, thinking you have no memory for when he brings out his new disinfo, thinking, well, Mueller said the other stuff was fake, so this must be real. Another white shoe boy, dirty lawyer tactic. Don't cover some of the things that concern InfoWars and, and, and myself will be shut down. And then when we get shut down, they admit everybody else does. This is true authoritarianism. You know, I told you on Friday, my wife was having surgery on her elbow from tennis injuries, decades playing tennis, couldn't even move her arm anymore, that I wasn't really going to come in that day, but I had to come in. She was out of surgery, I had to come up here because I got calls from Washington Post, ABC News, um, that Robert Mueller wants to basically indict me, indict my dad, all this other stuff for Russian collusion. And I know that's totally fake when they're talking about me. And then they send my lawyers questions basically saying that, and I come on air and tell people, and I see this leftist comment brigade saying, Jones just wants attention. Jones is just saying this for attention. Yeah, like they shut us down over 100 platforms. They're trying to take our bank accounts away. They have congressional hearings about me everywhere, lying where I'm not even invited to speak, killing due process. Oh, well, guess what happened on Saturday? The Senate Intelligence Committee subpoenaed us for all the emails from Corsi, via Corsi. And they also want to know everything about, quote, dirt we tried to find on Hillary, including her medical issues. Thought journalism was legal. Thought the Pentagon Papers were legal. Now, that's even on CNN as of the next day. So you understand now? Like, I don't come up here and tell you this stuff, and then I'm just saying it because I'm trying to sound big. I've been under attack for 20 years on air, 24 years I've been on air, but 20 years I've been getting attacked. They have hearings. We've played the clips, but I don't think listeners understand because I don't spend enough time on it. Understand just how serious this is. So Roger Stone joins us in the second hour with the most exclusive news ever. They are getting ready to move on Trump. 
and I'm not saying this about Trump because Mueller breathing down my neck. I'm saying it because Trump isn't doing enough to protect himself and others that if Trump won't defend himself, why the hell should I do it? And, and by the way, I still like Trump way better than Hillary. He's still a good patriot. He's a good man. But man, this new attorney general pick is Robert Mueller's daddy. I mean, he is the guy that worked for George Bush Sr. at the CIA who brought Mueller in because he was corrupt and known for helping run mob hits in Boston. Uh, I mean, reportedly, Mueller would do the killing himself. Whitey Bulger was just a cutout half the time. So Mueller's running around killing everybody all over Boston, and then, and then, and then George Herbert Walker Bush brings him in through his new AG, who was AG back then, but Trump's new AG, William Barr. And, and then at that point, I'm just like, okay, stick a fork in the country. I mean, if, if, if Trump doesn't get that, and by the way, I had a whole theory with Roger last week. I said, maybe these guys say, hey, we were under globalists before, but the Bushes are out of power, the Clintons are out of power. We were just ordered to do this. We want to make America great again. We don't want one side of deals with China. We realize America's powerful and has, you know, all this will, even from a sociopathic view, why run America in the ground? So we actually want to join Trump. And I wasn't thinking that. I was just hoping that. And then it, Trump comes out and says, I had no idea that he literally is Robert Mueller's daddy and that they vacation together and are best friends and their wives and their everything. And Trump said, you know, I was just told he was good and conservative would get confirmed and isn't a Democratic partisan. Trump, it's not Democrats. The neocons, they run the show. They want the power. They want it now, period. They don't want America to be great. You think the universities and the whole corporate meeting, the whole leftist system says America was never great, it'll never be great? That was at the Women's March this weekend. It's governors, it's Democrats, it's Cortez. It's, they're globalists. They're demoralizing and bringing the country down, and they're selling it out to whoever will buy it off. And so at this point, it just becomes ridiculous. And I'm only raising the alarm because the move is being made right now. Now, again, I don't have time to get into this on radio and TV because we've got hours of it. And we're going to show you Owen Shoyer being sexually assaulted when we come back from break. He'll be in studio. But media hoax, MSM falsely claims Catholic students harassed Native American. And you've got a group of leftists, uh, Hispanics, whites, black guys, go, let's go, it's on, beep, beep, beep. I've got to bleep all this out. They march across to the group of junior high and high school students who are out there for a prayer march, uh, anti-abortion march that also happened. They weren't even dealing with the women's march. So the leftists march over. It's all raw footage from their own cameras. It's the leftists' own cameras. The media got this. They go, let's get them. All right, we're coming. We're coming, bitches. Bleep, beep, beep, beep. And the, and the literally 10-year-old kids are like, here come grown men busting in. Boom, boom. And they don't know what's going on. So they're jumping up and down like it's a football game. And then they start saying, we're going to get you, blah, blah, blah. And so all the white kids do, most of them are white, is just smile. And the media said, look at these white devils arrogantly who surrounded this poor little Native American man. And they show this crop footage from the point where it's a little Native American guy, not all the people coming to basically assault the, 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 the kids and say, look what they did. Look at how they surrounded him. And every channel in the country is still running it, despite the fact that we have the raw footage of what really happened. And that shows you just how evil this is. I care about Native Americans, man. You go out west or areas they're in, most are alcoholics on drugs. It's hellish. I'm part Native American. Uh, and the way they get used by the system and then bust in to do stuff like this. And the very same news organizations, we did reports on this months ago, would put out footage where these racist Hispanic women dressed up in Native American outfits, because I guess they get you attention, go, hey, your mother's married to her brother. You're a subhuman, mongoloid, whites are retarded creatures, like the uh, you know, New York Times board member says, and, and you're just scum, you monkey. And they keep going, monkey, white monkey, white monkey. And so I say, hey, that's really racist. Leave me alone. The media has me doing that saying, I just came up to them when they came up to me. The exact 
shame, evil formulae. And that's why, there it is, Alex Jones harasses Native American women. Then they have the edited video. We have the video that's not edited, unedited video of Native American man approaching Catholic school kids. We have that on Infowars.com, uh, version of uh, the edited version of the, of the kids. And then we have the uh, other footage, outrage over viral video of encounter between teens and Native Americans. We have it all there. And it's called the uh, Now This that's on Facebook is the group that puts these fake videos out where they have the left come assault people and say horrible racist stuff. And then they say that we're doing it. But all the proofs on Infowars.com, birds and all the cussing and all the you know uh, cuss words on the signs. And when you look at this, you have to understand, there's hours more. It's not like we're even cherry-picking this, but most incredible is uh, Trump famously in a private tape, I don't know, 14 years ago or whatever, said, women throw themselves on me. They climb on top of me. You can do anything. You can grab them by the, you can say that word on air, pussy, pussy cat, whatever. And... Then they said, oh, my God, that's an admission of rape. No, that's not Bill Clinton settling rape cases. That's Elvis Presley having women throw their panties at him and jump on top of him on stage. Trump saying, my God, they jump on top of you. They, they, they come on to you. You can do anything you want. It means women are throwing themselves at you. Okay, we're showing footage for TV viewers of Elvis and women trying to kiss him and you know, throw their panties at him and everything else. This isn't rape. This is when people get excited and they have free will. And, you know, and, and it's so much cute, him kissing kids, whatever. Okay, so so there's famous footage of the Beatles having panties thrown at him. So this woman walks over and grabs Owen by the genitals and then says, go ahead, call the police on me. Go ahead, do it. And then we'll show the rest of it. And this is just our footage. We have hours of this, and other people have video just frothing evil. And then the Native American group, marching over to the little kids, some of them age 10, running into them, basically assaulting them in the raw footage, and that turns into evil white kids are mean to Native Americans, Owen. Well, Alex, this is all, again, hyped up by the mainstream media that's dividing us. They're the ones that drive these people to madness and insanity. It's, it's mass mental illness is what we're dealing with at these women's marches. I've been to three women's marches. I've been to every single one. I was at the Women's March in 2017. I got assaulted. I got hit in the face. That's on tape. I went to the Women's March in 2018. I was spit on, punched, everything in between. That's on tape. And then this year I go, I get literally grabbed in the genitals, and the whole crowd's laughing and pointing at me. And, you know, it's kind of sick, almost in a way, Alex, that I almost really don't even care, and I'm not surprised at this point. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, just kind of reflecting on it. And you were saying... Because they're not about the morals. It's all about their fake high ground to assault us. And you were saying before that, and, and, and this is my only regret from the weekend, and quite frankly, this is just how dedicated I am to getting this footage that I don't even think about actually falling through, but ha with having this woman arrested. But the cops were literally five feet from that incident. Probably five cops saw the whole thing and heard her saying that, just like they saw it in 2018 when the guy spit at me multiple times, just like the cops saw it in 2017. I, I was there when we were trying to get into Trump's inauguration, and, and the antifa was beating everyone up, including women, and the police did nothing. Because so, the left is God. They, they can do this. And then if you want to get into the more cultural issue with these women saying they're so oppressed, oh, it's so bad for them. Well, you just came up to me and admitted you sexually assaulted me in public, and the whole crowd laughed about it, and the cops And they're fighting to get into the country. F because we're all a bunch of wimps and we're all over to it. That's what's happening. America is a giant chump operation where we put up with this. Let's, let's, let's start playing the audio and video here, and then we'll stop and start as we go. Uh, here, here, here is the sexual assault. So if our president can grab a woman by the pussy, I can grab you by the ball. She just grabbed my dick. Is that sexual assault? No, bye. Is that sexual assault? Yes. So you just sexually assaulted me? I did assault Should you. Should you be arrested? Arrest me. Well, I'm not going to arrest you. There are police officers right here. But So look at this. Women have so much privilege, she can sexually assault me and get away with it. And she nods her head. This is total arrogance. Continue. This is Owen Schroyer for the... Bernie Sanders 2020 coalition, and I'm live at the Women's March in Washington, D.C. Hit pause real quick. Excuse me, sir. Back up five seconds. I know why you did that. A bunch of reporters 
couldn't get in if they were known conservatives. And so you had to wear a Bernie hat and not put your flag on until you got through the police, or they wouldn't let you even march down the road, claiming the whole city was a free speech zone for the left. Well, and this was more an issue that I knew I wouldn't even be able to talk to some of these people if I had a Trump hat on. Because as soon as I put, as soon as I take the Bernie hat off and the Trump hat on, it's game over, it's hatred, it's screaming, it's yelling. And so it, 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 it was really to just show the dichotomy. So let's go back you know. to it, and then what happens when you put it? on the Trump hat. Go ahead. I mean, immediately, as soon as I put it the Trump hat, you'll see in this video, here we immediately go. the crowd's upset. Excuse me, sir, what brought you out here today? I'm here for the march. Just here for the march? What do you think needs to be done about Trump colluding with Russia? I think it needs to be fully investigated. Robert Mueller's got to finish it. So here's the sign. It's very clever. Investigate Trump's ties, and then there's ties. Why do you think Trump should be impeached, ma'am? <laughs> well, uh, where can I begin? Uh, uh, just about everything he's done since he's been yeah. uh, inaugurated. 2020. Pause. Like uh, j criminal justice reform, so blacks don't get triple the time in jail that Hillary signed on, saying they're animals, they're dogs, take them to heal, they're super predators, uh, or legalizing hemp for production. Uh, of, of, of incredible industrial compounds uh, or trying to pull us out of all these wars. Yeah, the Democrats, they don't want that, Owen. Well, and you always hear this talking point, but the economy had, the stock market had record losses last year. Well, no, if you look at the stock market under Trump, it had record, record gains. It doubled and we lost half of it because the yeah. private Federal Reserve so, tried to spike him. And of course, that's just what happens with the stock market energy. Eventually, it kind of balances Sure, but the point out. is they've been rooting for it to plunge. Let's go back. Here it is. Fight the patriarchy! Right. Bernie 2020! Yeah. Fight the patriarchy! And now he dawns on his head. Make America great again. The triggering icon of patriarchy. That feels a lot better. Hey, can anybody tell me why Trump should be impeached? Anybody? Can anybody tell me why President Trump should be impeached? Any volunteers? Any volunteers? One reason why Trump should be impeached. Can you tell me why Trump should be impeached? Because he's incompetent. Because he's anti-woman. Is America great? It was Wait, was it? Back it up. Oh, I love this guy saying it was never great, white boy. Because I've learned with Democrats, you say America's coming back, we're getting jobs. They go, ooh, their enemy is America. It's not just some minority group of, of, of leftist or communist. It's the main line group. But notice... She says he's hurting women. The radical Islam is what the left loves. It's all they're bringing in. Linda Sorcerer, whose mother writes books about genital mutilation and, you know, making women wear burqas, and Sorcerer says make women wear burqas in Iran. Women shouldn't rebel against the government. These are literal authoritarians, and they're sitting there with these women saying Trump is anti-woman when he's appointed more women than any president ever combined. Let's go back to the, these idiots. He's incompetent because he's anti-woman. Is America great? When was it? Wait, boy. It's fake news, everybody. It's yes. fake news. The fake news media. It's the fake news media. We can make We're Unix. not fake. We We're showing Unix. you. We can make eunuchs. We can make eunuchs. So you assume that Trump is a misogynist, so you're out here marching. President it Trump has again. appointed more. You've got. Alexander Cortez saying we're going to pull trains on Republicans, gang rape them. You've got the uh, man running up saying America was never great, won't be great. You've got women saying we're going to chop your testicles off. A woman just sexually assaulted you. This is a crazed mob of demons. Continue. So you're out here marching. President Trump has appointed more women to his administration than any president in U.S. history. He also has assaulted. He's also... Who is he assaulted? He's probably assaulted a lot of women. Oh, well, probably. Now it's probably? It's not probably. I'm not saying. I'm saying he has assaulted a lot of women. We know that. Who? He's what grabbed, women? He's grabbed, a lot of body, he's grabbed a lot of women pussies. Donald Trump has said things that are, like, fostering this rape culture that we're talking about and that are oppressive to... Like what? Grab them by the pussy. Like, I think grabbing by the pussy was a huge thing. I, I mean, that's, that's a horrible statement. And I'm sure you don't endorse that statement as an intellectual being. I mean, the guy's having a conversation and talking. Yeah, I don't endorse the statement, but it's really a minor issue. A minor? A minor I, don't, I, yeah. think, I think the instance in itself could be considered a minor Hit pause issue. pause right here. we got to come back where this is where he's saying this. A woman comes over and assaults Owen, but it's okay because she's a woman. She's a god. A again, I, I actually defend Trump on this. Grab our reporter hard by the genitals. If you're, not, if you're a radio listener, you can't see it for simulcast. There's police right there. And I, I grabbed it Owen. I said, you should have called the police. I guess we have the raw footage. This is an edit. He goes over and they say, we're not doing anything. 
He just wanted so so that's why she laughed and why she Look, smiled there's because there's because right there. there's literally the cops are right there and there's cops and there's cops right there in the footage and there's cops right in front of us that I'm looking at saying are you going to do anything they do nothing. So the headline is uh, feminist now allowed to sexually assault men and the leftist little 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 punk guy he's laughing this is funny. He was just like, "Oh my god, Trump's grabbing all the women even though it's not true." Then they turn this into now we're going to assault you. So so back it up and let's play it from the point we're at. Back it up please to where we were. Okay, because we've got Roger Stone coming up with huge exclusive news as well, but start rolling this because it gets more insane. Here we go. I don't, I yeah. think, I think the instance in itself could be considered a minor issue. So as, if our president can grab a woman by the pussy, I can grab you by the pussy. Now he's she celebrating, she did it. Is that sexual assault? No, bye. Is that sexual Hit assault? again. Yes. Back it up 20 seconds. Just saying you, they let you grab them by the whatever because they're so into you. That's rape. He's so upset. But now when she grabs you right in front of him, he starts laughing and celebrating. Total disconnect with reality. So, so uh, play it again. As so if our president can ah, grab a woman by the pussy, I can grab you by the balls. She just grabbed my dick. Is that sexual assault? No, bye. Is that sexual assault? Yes. So you just sexually assaulted me? I did assault so you. Should you be arrested? Arrest me. Well, I'm not going to arrest you. There are police officers right here. But So look at this. Women have so much privilege, she can sexually assault me and get away with it. And she nods if her head. If I did that to her, I'd get arrested. I just told you. If you want to go ahead, there are police right here. I don't, I there, don't, this I'm is not Blue complaining. City corruption. You're the one that oh, walked up and grabbed my crotch. Yeah. Because hey, pause again. I'm oh, and if you would have grabbed her like you'd want to grab that demonic pig, if you'd have grabbed her, they would have slammed you down, rammed your head in, and national news would have not showed her grabbing you, just like the fake Native Americans slamming into 10-year-old and 12-year-old and 14-year-old kids and attacking them and, and, and ramming into them, and they did nothing, and then they assaulted the Native Americans. Same thing. In fact, they may edit this and say you assaulted her even though you didn't touch her. Well, and that's why I know I have to show total restraint when I'm out there and I basically have disciplined myself to be that way and that's quite frankly why I probably didn't press forward to have her arrested and make a bigger scene of this like I should have I really should have had her arrested I should have made a national news story of this but we already know the news story the news story is that these really at the base of this Alex these this is mass mental illness we're talking about she's literally grabbing your genitals and saying you go you you're above me she goes yes I'm allowed to but then they're here do, 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 do. But then saying, <laughs> women jump on me, I can do anything I want, I, that's evil, that's rape. But her actually sexually assaulting you is good. I don't know, Alex. I don't know how you, how, how what else, we need to reopen the mental institutions and do the next 2020 Women's March, just march them right in. You know what I'm saying? By the way, folks, there's hours of this posted at InfoWars.com. I can't even track it all. It, 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 it's like we're not just cherry, and it's led by a radical Islamic woman that says women should be made to wear burqas in the Middle East and should be suppressed by men. Linda Sorcer literally says, look it up, that women should not rebel against Islamic regimes. They should wear burqas and have their genitals cut off. I mean, th th this is fourth wave feminism is just psychotic evil. Here, here let's play more. Here it is. I don't, I don't, I'm not complaining. You're the oh, one that walked up and grabbed my crotch. Yeah, because I'm fighting for equality here. How so? Women get grabbed by the fucking pussy, then I'm going to grab you by the balls. Who do you think has sexually assaulted more women than any other president in the history of the United States? Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton has sexually assaulted more women. Yeah, he United settled States. multiple rape cases. Really? His wife, huh? He sexually assaults his wife. You can do that. Wow. So, so you guys still haven't named one woman Trump has assaulted. Ivanka. That's uh, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, have you ever seen the photos of him with his daughter? Have you seen the videos of Joe Biden groping children? Yeah, no. Are you real? What's that? Are you real? Are you real? Uh-huh. What are this, you doing out here? This is sad women that couldn't get men. I mean, to. I'm sorry. Didn't I want them empowered. Crazy. All right, go ahead and try. They all look like mental patients. They are. They ought to be. Yeah. So, so Infowars is known to, you know, spread a lot of misinformation. Do you think that's the best way to kind of? Uh, go ahead and what are a couple? What are a couple examples? I mean, it's just kind of known that Alex Jones pushes. So give us some examples. Alex Jones, I mean, every day in the show pushes false. Can you give me an example, please? He, he, he pushes, yeah, S S Sandy Hook. You are a white man. You are a white man. Until you know, I'm not done. And hey, pause. That's all that hey, pause again. 
th it's literally like KKK land where they're always, you're white, shut up, you're going down, including, and you're like, you're not even against them because they're brown. And it's like, what the hell happened to you? Well, and again, the reason why I, I, I mean, you, you can walk around all day and talk to these people on a Bernie hat and they'll say the exact same crap. You know, but as soon as, soon as, soon as you put on a Trump hat, it's the hatred. Here's what, again, Alex, it illustrates how these people are, whatever it is about the imagery or the thought of it, it, it drives the demons out of these people. These are demonic possessed souls. They are mentally deranged people. This is a national emergency. This is a national crisis. How many times? Oh yeah, do we show have to this footage where they had an event called "The Lies of Alex Jones" that I wasn't invited to. They shut down downtown for it. I show up and people begin literally going, "We're going to rape kids," and going, "Ah!" And like the crowd was going, "Ah!" At me, and I was like, "What?" Uh, there's footage of this. We're just—I mean, imagine the crowd is going, "Rape children! Rape children! Now with America!" I'm, and they're—they're they're screaming, "Rape! Rape children!" This is like a demonic invasion force hit. Every time these people meet up, and I think—I mean, oh, I, I forgot since they put the footage up. I mean, we have them literally saying, "I'm gonna f children," and the crowd going, "F children." Remember the Ted Cruz guy that takes the sign and like screams like a demon and he's like, Argh. I mean, these people are well, it's, it's, it's in the footage where the guy goes, I'm going to F kids. <laughs> and then the other people start screaming, F kids, F kids, F kids, F kids. I mean, Alex, we have hours of this footage from yesterday and, and we'll have hours more as soon as there's the next event that these people have. And it's all because they hate Trump and it's all because they're mentally ill. That's what it all comes down to. And it's and the mass media is one of the reasons it's maybe the biggest reason. But that is why Trump calls them the enemy of the people. That is why. No, I agree. But, but but let's go back because I forgot about the Austin event last year. Do you guys, I, I saw the video, but you have the audio bleep because it was a bleep version where the dude runs up in a painter's outfit. So he's talking about sex with kids and trying to lick my face. And then I look at the crowd and some of them had their tongues out going. Ah, and it's like we have it on footage. It's like, what, what the, is this like an alien invasion or something? I mean, how do you get crowds to go? Ah, America will fall. Ah, we hate Jesus. And we have the footage the, at other rallies where they do this. Yeah, there was an event here in Austin where they were tearing down a Confederate statue. I just went to report on it, and a bunch of guys started chanting death to America. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's figure out what is wrong with these people. They have a mass mental illness, Alex. That's what this comes down to. I don't know if you guys have the footage. Yeah, but what's the? why is it the same spirit? Kill kids, kill America, kill babies. We hate families. That's the propaganda. That's the propaganda they're fed. So, so they'll just buy anything. But that's the transmission. Yes. Whatever. By the way, fed folks, I've aired this before. If you think I'm joking, I have footage of women saying, hell, Satan, kill my babies all over Austin. I have footage of people licking my face saying, I'm going to screw kids. I mean, it is the most crazy. And we're putting it on TV right now. If you're a viewer. I mean, <laughs> and then I looked at the crowd and they were all half of them had their tongues out. Like, I mean, I'm in some type of interdimensional vortex. I forgot. He actually hit you in the genitals, too. Yes, he did grab my. So, so that was the same thing. So I went to this deal. The. The lady grabs me in the chest. Someone threw rotting feces on me after this. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. That's I know. Crazy. You can't no, even. You. It's like. Like, I know that I know that Greg was just going through all the footage, and he's just and he's just going through. It's like, oh, my gosh. Like, I forgot how crazy that moment was. Oh, my gosh. I forgot about that. I mean, I, I'm going here in my head. We haven't even seen half the crap from, from yesterday. Yeah, there he is. Grabs my balls right there. That's what I, I and forgot. And then everyone cheers. It's the same thing, just like at the women's market. The police are like, well, sir, he's allowed to grab your balls. I mean, literally, like, we, you we know like, why, though, Alex? It's the same. It's the same thing. If you've ever seen the movie. He's, he's wearing a painter outfit, grabbing your balls, saying, rape children. What's wrong with that? I mean, come on, man. You don't, uh, you don't hit Arnie from What's Eating Gilbert Grape. You just don't hit Arnie. That's why these people never get arrested. He also slapped me in the face. That, these are he, he, he hit me. He basically people. slapped my testicles, slapped me in the face, and then talked about screwing kids. And the crowd's like, yay! Ah, but these are mentally... Our planet is coming. Ah, the gate is almost open. In fact, look at her. She goes... Bleh. The force is ours. The planet's ours. Bleh. We eat children. So, look at this footage right here. What? what? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We'll come back and play the rest of it. Then. Watch I'm telling you, man, this, this is unbelievable. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Stay with us with the conclusion of what happened. The raw footage is all on Infowars.com. If you dare view it, whatever you do, share it. It's reminding me how a guy came up and slapped me in the face and, and it slapped me in the genitals. A woman did this to you yesterday in uh, D.C. But since we're ranting here, let's finish the footage. It's all raw on Infowars.com. Here's what happened to Owen Schroyer yesterday at the Women's March, funded by George Soros, the Nazi collaborator. Here it is.
You are a white man. You are a white man. Until you know, shut, I'm not done. And that's all that we're asking for is women that get raped, the men are held accountable for. I don't think anyone disagrees with that. But, <laughs> See, that's the mis... So wait, why does me wearing this hat have anything to do with that? It represents hate. How so? How so? You're white, too. Why does everyone hate me for being a white male? It seems like this is weird. Yeah, she had a bit of a shock factor yesterday. Being racist towards a white person is just as bad as being racist toward a black person. Don't be racist. How is asking someone to recognize their privilege racist? Their privilege. Yeah, ask all the white bums under the bridges about their privilege. Why don't you hate me? Because you you support Trump. Hey, why don't you guys like Trump? Why don't I? Yeah. He's an asshat. Or the 900,000 Northerners that died to end slavery. I mean, it's just like, it's like, they admit it. They hate us, Alex. The media has made these people. They've turned minorities into racists. He's going to jail? It's just a matter of time. For what? For all the stupid stuff he's doing. So you say that it was Barack Obama that's responsible for the great economic growth? Uh, yeah. Even though Obama Ugh. specifically said that it's impossible to do unless you have a magic wand. No, that's not true. That's not true at all. He had a big stack of all the regulations, and he literally cut it. So he got rid of all these regulations. So the coal plants and the coal mines. But now they've announced they're bringing them the back. The steel factories so reopened. The manufacturing industry skyrocketed. He did all that in a year. He did all that in a year. Yeah. He did all that in a year. Yes. How did he do all that in a year? I told you he got rid of all the regulations at the EPA. That was one thing he did. Still gonna overcome his ass. He didn't do it. He didn't do that in a year. He didn't do that in a year. But he did. But he did. Okay. Impeach Trump. Why? Why? Impeach Trump. Oh, I forgot Why? about this He's woman. Oh, my God. He's a pussy-grabbing thief. He's a pussy-grabbing thief. Have you ever had a wife who's had somebody touch her? Because that's who you fucking voted for is a pussy-grabbing president. He By the way, no one wants these women. Pussy. Did you watch the video? <laughs> they don't have these aren't women. Let's not insult women. These aren't women. Like this. You're like this. I mean, this is the West where women are treated are the best. They're acting like... It's here to tell you like they got some gold mine we want. And hate that my power <laughs> yeah. lies in your weakness. You look pretty hateful. You are a teeny tiny. Exactly. You're the hateful. Job of the hut shows up over here with an idiot. Oh, that's so loving of you. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Can I explain it to you, you piece of <laughs> that went? But let's let's. But I think we can one up. You should have been aborted. You gotta you love are. those weird little beta okay. males they bring up. I mean, like this is this guy was raised by mommy. Yeah, the United States, it's terrible. Like, then why are you here? Because I was born here. But if it's so bad, why don't you leave? Because I'm not old enough? You're a fucking piece of I'm not, I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. One more time. What is it? Oh my God. So you admit you're a hater. Oh, yeah. I admit it. Yeah, you guys are all haters. Yeah. 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 Let's be honest. Thank These people are all mutants. Yeah. I think you it's what's happening with the toxins and everything. They, these people are all mutants. I don't mean to be mean, but... Or they're just NPCs here for our ultimate challenge. All right, Roger Stone's coming up with bombshell info. Oh, and you'll be covering this. So that was almost two years ago, those clips of Rand Paul and others. Tucker Carlson accused being Russian agents for saying, where's the proof? And now two years into the fake investigation, we're sitting here asking, where's the Russia gate? No one's been charged with Russia connections. There is nothing. But then we learned this week as I told you on Friday, it broke on CNN uh, yesterday, on Saturday. Alex Jones subpoenaed via Jerome Corsi by the Senate Intelligence Committee wanting to know about my communications with WikiLeaks. Uh, there are no communications other than, hey, give us information, which everybody else was asking for. So what is Robert Mueller really planning? Who is this new attorney general who is literally a uh, CIA from George Herbert Walker Bush? Is Trump done? Is he completely surrounded? I've got to be honest with you, folks. I support Trump. I like what he's doing. But at the same time, uh, just watching this insane witch hunt that never ends and then getting ABC News and uh, the Washington Post calling me uh, the whole last week saying, oh, you paid hush money to a reporter to work for you, who I've been working with for over 15 years, to, like, stop the WikiLeaks secret coming out. It's like getting calls saying, we heard you ride unicorns on Mars with Chinese Easter bunnies. But they mean business. 
This is their plan. This is what they're doing. And then you pull back, and all these Republicans and Democrats have one thing in common. They're the traitors on the Chinese and Russian payroll for Uranium One and weapons deals, and they're so pissed that populist nationalists got a president in who got rid of the lobbyists and tried to actually build the country. We're going to go to Roger Stone, who I normally tell, hey, Roger, I don't want to get into Russiagate. It's all fake for two years, but now it's coming to a head. And now they're trying to implicate not just me, but my father as an obvious threat. And they're threatening to go after Dr. Jerome Corsi's uh, uh, son, I guess, to get him to say stuff. I mean, this is so desperate. This is so ridiculous. This is so over the top. And, you know, he, 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 here's what I'm getting down to. What I'm getting down to is if Americans continue to put up with this, we deserve what we're getting. And the way the president has been gelded politically to let these people run roughshod uh, with 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 Rosenstein and then and then McCabe lying to Congress and them trying to do a coup against him and then again they bring in their buddy again uh, you know this individual that worked for George Herbert Walker Bush and and was his uh, attorney general there's no end to what these people will try with William Barr and the rest of it so it makes somebody really at a certain point not lose faith because nationalism is exploding worldwide populism is exploding worldwide a lot of great exciting things are happening but at the same time trump is not the nationalist patriot movement he's a good guy who wrote in on it but he wrote in on this storm that pushed these waves we have to understand that if he falters or if he's got mental problems or what, whatever it could be that he's going to let them lie to him and do this we need to start moving on and saying hey we're not about trump we're about the message because if he abandons himself, if he abandons us, if he does things like this, at a certain point, we got to fish or cut bait. Uh, Roger Stone. Well, Alex, the president has said numerous times that he understands the movement is bigger than him, that this isn't about him, but that he represents uh, a, a radical change in direction from the two party duopoly that was driving us towards globalism and who's deeply in bed with the Chinese communists, as you have pointed out here again and again. But we're also entering a new phase of this that is unlike anything we've seen before. I've been furiously counterpunching for two years against this phony narrative, what I call the Russian delu collusion delusion. But now, uh, Anderson Cooper, Chris Cuomo, uh, BuzzFeed, you name it, they no longer feel any evidence or proof uh, or corroboration is necessary. They can just say, Trump is Putin's puppet, despite the fact that he's selling offensive weapons to the Ukrainians that the Russians object to. Uh, it, it is really extraordinary to see the fake news uh, meme that was really only coming from partisan Democrats like the shiftless Adam Schiff and, and Eric Swalwell two years ago, and John McCain, the late John McCain, now being adopted wholesale by the mainstream media. Russia, Russia, Russia. The American people are tired of it. There is no evidence. There is no proof. There is no cooperation. But you see, unless their articles of impeachment are wrapped around a Russian canard, they can't, re they can't get rid of Mike Pence. And that's really their goal. It's not just to remove Donald Trump. It's also, also to remove the vice president, uh, clearing the way for Nancy Pelosi to become president. She would then appoint Chris, uh, Hillary Clinton as vice president, then Pelosi would resign, and Hillary would get that thing, which eluded her in 2016. Well, let's be clear. It's Trump's maverick nature, never being in office before, that allowed him to go around the system because they were ready to fight somebody that was from the system. He was able to outsmart him because he wasn't from the system. The fact that he wasn't even trying to outsmart him is why he beat him. They didn't know what they were dealing with. They thought it was a traditional threat. Somebody that just wanted swamp control someone that wasn't actually trying to fix the country. But now that they've got him dialed in, they've got him surrounded by yes men that lied to him, and they're moving against him, they're censoring out all his supporters, and now they're threatening everybody under the sun that Trump's about to go down. I get the calls, I've confirmed it. Military, CIA, government, everywhere. They're saying by March they plan to move on Trump. And, and he's just sitting there not realizing what he's seeing. And then, you know, you see the article, Trump was shocked. He couldn't believe uh, that this new, uh, you know, this new uh, individual that they've got at Justice Department, who they've gotten him to nominate, you know, he can't believe 
uh, that this guy is that, that that William Barr is the best friends uh, with with uh, Mueller. So it's a giant sick joke of swamp creatures who are careening towards destruction, who think they're going to have some leftist civil war in America and defeat us. I don't want to go to the civil war, but it's it's just insane because uh, it's insane that Trump doesn't know what's going on. It's insane what they're doing. It's just crazy. Well, Alex, you could have knocked me over when you sent me that CNN story. How could the president not know William Barr's pedigree? Uh, it's in my book, uh, The Bush Crime Family. Uh, he is a deep stater down to his underwear. Uh, he and his uh, uh, wife, uh, pardon me, his wife is in the same Bible study group as Mr. Mueller. Uh, Mr. Mueller attended two of Mr. Barr's daughter's weddings. These guys are intimates. Uh, it makes sense because Barr was attorney general under George H.W. Bush when Robert Mueller was the FBI director. Partisanly hijacked our government, and I see third world written all over it. Why can't Mexico, why can't Guatemala, why can't Venezuela, why can't any of these countries ever get out of where they're at? Because their security services sometime in the last 50, 60 years went, we're the security services. We can overthrow the president or the prime minister. We can install ourselves and then steal the money and all get palaces in Switzerland. I mean, you go back 50, 60 years ago, Venezuela, per capita, average citizen, made more money than a U.S. citizen. It was an old saying going back over 100 years ago, as rich as an Argentine. Now it's as poor as an Argentine because they've got security services. And so they figure out these lawyers, not the average FBI, but these lawyers. Hey, we're the domestic police. We're the domestic feds. We can let crime go that we want and get paid off. And we can go after people who haven't done anything when we want. Like I found a quote today, I meant to send to the crew, I'll pull up on my phone, of Chucky e. Schumer in the Washington Times and New York Times over a decade ago, hard to believe it was that when Obama first got in, and he said, we're going to use the IRS to persecute Republicans. And they persecuted over 30,000 Republican groups and Christian groups and gun groups and audited them or arrested them or wouldn't give them 501c, three, four, five uh, exemptions and got a lot of them to roll over politically. But you think about that statement. And so when Republicans didn't send them to jail for using the IRS, tens of thousands of times worse than, I mean, Nixon had a list and a safe he was planning to use the IRS on of 100 and something people. This was 30 something thousand groups harassed for political purposes and, 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 and MSNBC saying like six years ago, yeah, we went after Republicans. We went after Christians and conservatives because you deserve it because you're racist. Yeah, we use the IRS on your ass. Imagine if ABC News back in 1974 said, yeah, Nixon used the IRS on people. They deserve it. But Nixon didn't even do that. Gun groups, veteran groups, Christian children's charities. And then they didn't do anything about that. So why not now shut everybody down and have censorship? Why not go ahead now and start arresting the press? Because it always says censor, arrest in prison, execute. You know, that's how it goes. And people say, well, the left says, hey, well, this is great. No, that's where all the prosperity goes out the window. But our own tech giants and our own elite are all sold out to China where they do stuff far worse than Hitler ever did in magnitude. And so they're doing it. America has cancer. It's an excellent article out today from The Hill. It's posted on Infowars.com. America, the new socialist frontier. I'm going to read part of it last segment with Roger Stone, but Roger, we get into the weeds here about Russiagate and all this, but as we've talked probably three, four hours the last few days, the deep state is making its move. The censorship, the behind-the-scenes threats, everything that's going on, the emplacement, it's clear. The bellwether is there. We know which way the wind's blowing. They're making their move. Yeah, they said they'd make their move in December of 2017, and they did other stuff, but now they're really making their move with the economy and with the disinfo and with everything, and... Uh, with the with the, the 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 race war preparations, what a do you agree with that? B do you disagree? And then and then and then C, what do we do to get the president to awaken and stop this? Because this is it, folks. This it, it's happening. Well, Alex, I do agree with it. I think we're we, this is the end of times. We are entering the final phase of this effort. Therefore, they must feel that the level of shadow banning and internet censorship is adequate to cut off our communications 
when they make their move. And you've seen the level of hysteria ramp up just in the last week, uh, the BuzzFeed phenomena, uh, where you had a, a lynch party, you had congressmen uh, uh, like uh, Joaquin Castro calling for the president's impeachment on the basis of a tabloid news organization that turned out to be wrong about everything. Shows you how hair trigger this whole thing is. So I, I think they're going to make their move here. They no longer need evidence. All they need is the ability to whip up a hysteria. I said it here several months ago. I want to reiterate it. Kavanaugh was the dress rehearsal. Kavanaugh was the dry run. They were testing the system, and they came within one vote of defeating and destroying a man on the basis of nothing, zero, nada, a completely false narrative. Now they want to do the same thing to Donald Trump, but their plan is even more insidious. And Ginsburg See? being on death's doorstep, the Grim Reaper sharpening his, 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 his sickle is only triggering them into high gear. That plus the strong economy, which is why they have been undermining the economy through the manipulations of the Federal Reserve to create the backdrop for an impeachment. They did the exact same thing to Nixon. I'm sorry, but I've seen this movie. I was there. I had a front row seat, although I was a much younger man. Uh, and therefore, I've seen this. It, here's the only difference between now and 1974, Infowars and a cross-section of alternative media organizations that will bring you the truth about what's going on. And I want to stop on, right there. why they're so desperate to shut us down. And I want to stop right there. I want to tell radio affiliate listeners, TV viewers, and people that are on Infowars.com who are the most hardcore people that get it, this is the time to hit your whole email list. This is the time to hit everything on Facebook, Twitter, even if you get banned. This is the time to call Congress, call C-SPAN, and say Infowars.com, forbidden information. Because we've got massive traffic, but we're the early warning system for this. You've got to get the articles and the videos, and this live feed we'll post later, archived of the plan to take down Trump revealed. They're doing it, and as, and, and, and as Roger said, they believe now they have banned thousands of prominent accounts, hundreds of thousands of, of medium-sized accounts, millions of small accounts. Everyone I know, I mean, I know family that sends like a pro-Christian tweet with an American flag in it, it gets banned. And we have video undercover of them saying at, at the New York Times, oh, we, we work with YouTube, we see American flags or pro-Alex Jones, we take it down, F these people. You've seen the marches, what they're saying. So they're making their move. Now is the time to take everything we do and magnify it and get it out because this is the push. It's happening now. Uh, Roger, what do you think the timetable is? I was told by, uh, let's just say, folks that acted like they were my friends. I really knew they weren't, and I understood what was going on, but I got a lot of information that only confirmed what I already knew. Back when they thought Trump might win, these people hedged their bets. But I've had uh, the folks out of Florida and some of the people CIA and other agencies kind of call up the last few months back in October and say, Trump will be gone by March, and so we'll see you then. Hope you're on the right side. Take care of your family. Total death threat. Great. All that does is make me st steal myself a steal against you. But we're going to come back from break. What, what does Trump need to do? What do we need to do? Because you have to understand, I wouldn't stand up and do this, as I've said a thousand times, if the globalists just wanted to run things. They want to run it in the ground. They want to sexualize your children. They're promoting pedophilia, devil worship everywhere. And so, listen, <laughs> just thinking before I went live about two minutes ago during the break that I don't want to be taken off air before I give you this warning. I want you to understand something right now and get it through your head 100%. We already sent the bat signal out. We already got Trump elected. You see nationalism exploding everywhere worldwide. But anybody that doesn't understand that there's not going to be a globalist counteroffensive to that is blind. And I can tell you right now, for sure, for sure, they made a lot of preparations. But we told you about the, them spying on Trump and the martial law plans and all that's in the news. I'm here to tell you, they may pull back. But currently, intellectually and gut level, they're already in motion. The switch has already been flipped. And a year in politics and life is like a millisecond. So a month or two is like a twinkling of an eye. The, the switch has been flipped to not just take Trump out. A lot of folks go, well, you know, Trump's been great or whatever, but what do I worry about? <laughs> they were going to have Hillary captain 
race war, sex war, division, economic collapse to then organize us and make everybody capitulate to get their pension funds back and their 401ks to agree to whatever they said. Federalization of every city, every police department, uh, the Strong Cities Initiative run by the UN, the CHICOMs funding it all through the universities. This is decades of preparation and traitorous activity. So understand, America is on its last legs right now. Trump was a speed bump. I was even reading this great article out of the London Center on the Hill, America, the New Socialist Frontier. And they say that Trump was just someone that, that they say slowed it down. I was talking to Roger yesterday. I said, Trump's been a speed hump. And that's it. So notice all the, quote, socialist women elected, and it's all over the news, uh, meet the, you know, here it is, opinion, beware the furies, President Trump. And it's like, look at these incredible women, uh, Meth Mouth Cruz and these others, marching together. And it's all about women. Oh, we're about to take America over and all this crap. Nothing to do with women. It's just cold-blooded social engineering. And so they plan to overthrow Trump and then put America into a civil war. See, we're trying to stop a civil war. They're, they're, they're saying, yeah, we want your kids. Yeah, we want your guns. They're trying to push us into it and give us no choice. So, Roger, I'll get your take on this as a seasoned political analyst, but I know you've been involved in nine campaigns, four or five administrations. I, I, I don't think you disagree with me about how dire our straits are right now. And I can tell you right now, the trigger's already been pulled. There's no putting the bullet back in the barrel. And the bullet's about to leave the barrel, and then it's going to traverse its, its, its trajectory right into our head. But if we metaphysically understand that and move out of the way, we at least have some chance, but it, it's on. Trump doesn't get it. He doesn't understand. He thought he'd turn the economy on. He'd let black folks out of prison that the Democrats put in there. He thought he'd pull us out of these wars and Democrats would like it. They never cared about wars. They just like to bitch and act like peaceniks. They love wars. So uh, he's going the route of JFK. In fact, I'd say Donald Trump's already dead. I predict he'll be dead. or I think They're not going to leave him walking around. I think he'll be dead by, by March 15th. The pre it's already been decided to kill the president. Once they get the new attorney general in, he's deader to Dornell. What do we do to stop that? Or is there any hope for him? In fact, let's just say he's dead already. What do, what do we do for our children? Trump's dead. Trump's, right, Trump's dead. Oh, no, no. He's dead already. So he's dead already. What do we do? Don't just admit it. Right, he's Alex, dead. Uh, he's gone. It's over. He's dead. So what do we do? Trump's dead. He's dead. He died. His family's sitting there, all cowards, lined up except for Don Jr., going along with it. He's dead. What do we do? God, I pray that you are wrong. But He's but dead. He's apart? dead. He's dead. Go ahead. Uh, you know, it's, what's ironic about this, of course, is that every day goes by, we learn more about the, uh, the plot to lay out this takedown, this coup. We learned last week that Bruce Orr uh, did, in fact, warn the FBI about the origins of the fake dossier that was used as the underlying rationale for the spying that was meant to use to take Trump down, the core of what the deep state is so desperate to cover up. Uh, so, but the American people, because the mainstream media just doesn't care, that story, an incredible story by John. Yeah, no, no, the American you know, people don't know, but what really matters is Trump doesn't know. Yeah, well, the, the, how he could not know about, about Bill Barr is beyond me. And of course, the obvious question is, Whoever recommended Barr, whoever pushed him within the president's circle, did not have the president's best interests at heart. And the president needs to fire that person right now. Look, the time, the hour is late. He can declassify the FISA warrants, which lead right to Barack Obama, and I think turn this entire situation around. No, I agree, but before, no but before this new guy gets in, that. who does he appoint for the Uranium One that totally changes the subject to reality? Well, right now, the acting attorney general has the authority to appoint anyone. What's wrong with Andrew McCarthy? I would appoint him. Uh, and uh, this FBI director's got to go. I would fire him immediately and put former New York Police Commissioner Ray Kelly, someone Trump has known for 50 years, in that job. There are patriots who are willing to step into this government, but the call never came because Reince Priebus uh, and his minions were blocking those people. Uh, and that's a, that is a, a sad fact. And now the chickens have come home to roost. I actually wonder whether the seeds of the president's destruction were not sown way back in January and February and March.
when Steve Bannon made no effort whatsoever to get Trump loyalists in this administration, and the White House and the cabinet was peopled by swamp creatures whose only interest was returning to the status quo. And by the way, when I say Trump's dead, he's done. Politically, he's dead. Everything's dead. They're making their move. You can see it. The total shutdown of all conservative nationalist media, you know, even uh, famous top preachers, big shutdown. It's all happening. It's clear as day. And if we don't do something, it's our fault. And if and I, I, I want to get people ready. Because I told you Trump was coming. I told you the nationalism would sweep the world. We're still winning worldwide. But those of us that are on the tip of the spear, we got to get ready to pay our, pay our up and, to, you know, God to get this done. But we have to understand that we have to get the base ready for Trump's assassination. We, 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 clearly, they're not going to just remove it. They're going to kill him. Not going to leave him out there wandering around saying stuff or fighting back. So they're getting ready to kill him in the next 90 days. Uh, I don't think anybody can disagree. And we're only saying this to try to save the president. And, and, and just separately, imagine this is our last broadcast ever, Roger, because it could be any day. What do we say to the listeners? Because, because this is what this is all about. This is the dire straits we're in. Let's not lie to the audience about this. Well, first of all, we, we, we're not folding. We're not quitting. We're not running. We're not heading for the tall grass. I myself have been fighting for two and a half years, and I will continue to fight no matter what. But the president is besieged, yet today, Alex, he still has the power to save himself today. Soon that will not be the case. What you're looking here, in my opinion, is a complete rerun of the Saturday Night Massacre. Trump will wake up only when it is too late. He will then move to fire his new attorney general, and that will trigger the, uh, the chain of events, just as it did with Nixon. For well, how does he removal. pull this nominee now? Uh, because his advisors will tell him that it's too late, that he can't do so. No, no, but how does he do out. it now? Uh, Trump, how does he pull uh, uh, the literal, you know, daddy of Robert Mueller out? He's got a, a window here in which Matthew Whitaker is still the acting attorney general. Whitaker is, by all measures and all reports, a patriot. He's got the, the ability to uh, to appoint a special counsel for Uranium One. He's got the ability to... No, I get it. He should do that now before stuff. the new guy gets in. I agree. How do we kill the nomination of the latest swamp creature? Well, hopefully the president has uh, woken up, although I think his advisors will tell him it's too late. His advisors have continued to get him to ignore his... Yeah, because they're a bunch of wimps. They're a bunch of punks and a bunch of scum. Here, but here's the bottom line. Robert Mueller, after two years of a fake investigation, is honing in, like we told you, on Roger Stone and myself and my dad. We were there two and a half years ago when uh, WikiLeaks was all over the news, giving interviews to The Washington Post, The New York Times, CNN, MSNBC, and wouldn't give us one. I called him Hillary's butt plug for not doing it. And so now the Senate's subpoenaing my emails. And we learn what Giuliani is saying is coming next. This is huge. Roger Stone, tell us about this. CNN has just released an interview with Mayor Giuliani, who, of course, is uh, representing the president as a private attorney. Giuliani says he has seen documents that indicate that the special counsel told Jerry Corsi that if he would testify against the president, Roger Stone and Alex Jones, that they would give him probation. Uh, and that if he did not, he was looking at five years at prison. It appears to me that Jerry decided to try to split the difference, won't testify against the president, because he knows that's, that he doesn't want to be the John Dean of this drama, was perfectly willing, unfortunately, to make up stuff about you and I. I recommended him to InfoWars. I was among several. There's no doubt about that. But the idea that I recommended that you pay him hush money is a canard made of whole cost. It's nonsense. It's false. And then implicating your father, who gives the guy a severance after you terminate him, uh, as if he's done something wrong, is just beneath contempt. I am so disappointed that he's made up lie after lie about me. Well, let's make... Well, I'm not trying to brag and act like senior. a big, big, big shot here. But Roger Stone doesn't make any decisions here. No one does but me, which I wish it wasn't... I make all the decisions. The color of the carpet, what's on the video screen behind me, I, I built InfoWars. Not the CIA, not the FBI and all these scumbag white shoe boys who couldn't wipe their own ass. I built this! And I will not sit there and hear this crap that anyone tells me what to say or do. And I'm not trying to brag here, but the idea that, 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 that 
course, he's been coming on the show for 17 years with four or five number one best-selling books and the top advisor to Lou Dobbs, and he was a smart, good guy, and I was betrayed by him. And I saw what he was when he was drunk talking crap to us in, in D.C. a year and a half ago. And so the idea... The idea that he would then take our goodness to him when he was a falling down drunk and couldn't get his work done and typos everywhere. We have all the emails going, what the hell, dude? Half this article's misspelled. That turns into my daddy thinking they know I'm ready to die, that I would roll over because they're trying to target my father. Makes me sick. Well, uh, how do you think I feel? Here's a colleague who I liked his reporting and is writing at World Net Daily. He now claims completely falsely that he told me that John Podesta's emails had been stolen. That's a lie, an unsupportable lie. Now he's changed his story again, saying that I told him ahead of the NBC Billy Bush tape release that he should tell Assange to release Podesta's emails to distract from it. This is a new iteration of a lie. There is no evidence to support any and of this. And now I'm paying this son of a bitch hush money. Bull crap. So let me ask you this. What does this mean that Giuliani, the president's main lawyer, has come out and torpedoed Giuliani? I mean, he's come out and torpedoed Corsi. What does it symbolize that the president's head lawyer, uh, Giuliani, has come out and torpedoed Corsi? Well, it says more about Mr. Mueller than it does Jerome Corsi. Uh, I think we see the extent they're willing to go to try to get somebody, Jerry Corsi, Michael Cohen, somebody, uh, to bear false witness against the president. Now, I know that Jerry Corsi met with the president when he was a candidate for president. I was not present. I don't know what was discussed in that meeting. So perhaps Mr. Mueller is attempting to put words into Mr. Corsi's mouth within the context of that meeting. Sure, but why uh, would Giuliani, uh, who, because he's been pretty accurate so far, in fact, extremely accurate because he knows the truth's the best defense, why, this is bombshell, he comes out and says that Corsi said what again? Uh, again, I've sent you the actual transcript. Uh, he said he has seen the documents uh, and that Corsi was told that if he would testify against the president, they would give him probation. Now, I've got uh, him right here he... now. So why, how is Giuliani able to get that? I guess they're throwing this at Trump. Well, somebody obviously leaked this document to the, to the, uh, to the president's attorney. <laughs> Uh, look, we're going to have to, this all happened, you know, within the last hour and a half. So we're going to have to sort it out. I'm just sorely disappointed that Corsi would try to set you and I up uh, uh, in regard to something that we had nothing to do. Uh, well, well but let's a, expand a on that. I mean, let's expand. The fact that moving on from Corsi, we know he's compromised and, and, and sold out. What what do we, what does it mean that, that, that Giuliani knows that this is happening and is willing to say it? The fact that He's coming out and saying that Mueller, Mueller is allowed, is basically pushing lies, shows that Trump finally gets this is, a, this is, this is crap and stop playing games with it. Because I can tell you right now, folks, I, I'm a Russian agent like I'm a Pluto lawnmower, Easter bunny, unicorn, uh, purple penguin eater. I mean, it, it's just like it's ridiculous. When the globalists are anti-America, they're doing all this. We all know this. And it's just, it's ridiculous to change the subject from their treason. Well, uh, just be very clear, Alex, uh, Rudy Giuliani is about as popular with the White House staff and the Trump inner circle as you and I, because he's a straight shooter. He tells the president what they don't want him to know. Giuliani has been a truth teller in all this, and he has d repeatedly tried to get the president off of defense and onto offense. He's hit Comey. He's hit Mueller. He's been one of the few willing to do so. So uh, believe me, they would like to shut him off from the president as well, but they're not able to do so because of his stature and their long relationship. Uh, you know, people like to shoot it really. He's done this wrong. He's done that wrong. I think he's done more right than wrong here. But take those clips this week where he supposedly footage. take the clips this week. I'm not even. Def it's the truth. Where they said they said that you know Trump hasn't colluded. Others may have. He said I don't know about others. There's open investigations, but Trump hasn't colluded. That isn't saying others colluded. So that's a truthful statement. I don't know about everybody else you're investigating, but Trump hasn't. Let, let, here, let's play a clip. We've got the clip of Giuliani talking about this. Here it is. As far as I know, President Trump did not have discussions with him, certainly had no discussions with him in which he told him or counseled him to lie. If, if he had any discussions with him, they'd be about the version of the events that Michael Cohen gave then, which they all believe was true. I believed it was true. I still believe it may be true because unlike these 
people who want to just believe him, I believe Michael Cohen is a serial liar. If you can figure out where Michael Cohen's telling the truth, you're better than I am, Jake. I, and that's what happened to BuzzFeed. They bought a totally phony story. They yeah. weren't going to buy it unless they just, got some phony stuff about federal agents. And then they went with it because they're the same ones who published the Steele dossier when no one else would do so it. You, they obviously so, you have hatred for the president. But, but you just acknowledge that it's possible that President Trump talked to Michael Cohen about his testimony. Which would be perfectly normal. Which so the president so believed was true. So it's possible that that happened? That President Trump talked to Michael Cohen I don't know if it happened or didn't happen. And it might be attorney-client privileged if it happened, where I can't acknowledge it. But I have no knowledge that he spoke to him. But I'm telling you, I wasn't there then. So it's not significant because the well, version Michael he Cohen gave is, to the... But he's convicted so of... The, earlier, of the, clip, the new clip's out. We'll get it. The show's almost over. The point is, he's come out. i got the transcript right here and said that Corsi was promised probation if he'd make up stuff and read a transcript i mean for 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 giuliani to say that that is that is huge uh, i agree alex and look i've, I've been in this exact cul-de-sac um it's true i spoke on the phone with donald trump three days before the disclosure of the wikileaks uh pub you know uh releases uh, and there's no evidence that we spoke about this because we didn't but just juxtaposing those dates I had both uh, Chris Cuomo and uh, and uh, Chuck Todd insisting, well, you must have spoken to the president about this. No, I didn't. And there's no proof to the contrary. Well, here's the bottom the line. President here's the bottom line. America is in the crosshairs. The Democrats are all over the news. We have all these new clips of the Women's March saying, we hate America. America shouldn't exist. This is the group saying America shouldn't exist. And then people that say it should exist, they're Russian traitors, and they should all be arrested. So we're done. We have women sexually assaulting our reporters and laughing in front of police. We have the Democrat lynch mob out of control. We are the Americans. We believe in prosperity. We believe in justice. We believe in truth. We are not Robert Mueller. We are not Hillary Clinton. We are not the deep state. And it's all coming to a head with all these fake news stories about Trump's a Russian agent and BuzzFeed fake stories that are meant to make Mueller look like he's truthful when he says, oh, this is fake. The next big bombshell's real. It's all coming to a head. And we will be covering it all at Infowars.com forward slash show. Mike Adams has his counterthink report coming up for one hour after. It's very powerful. Infowars.com forward slash show. Roger Stone, Infowars.com, Newswars.com. We'll talk to you tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central when I kick off my regular broadcast. But obviously, they're making their move. History's happening now. And I'm not afraid at all. I'm actually jumping up like a jumping jack. This is so exciting. But the listeners better get excited. Thank you, Roger.